What's up everybody? Just felt the need to make a video right now talking about anxiety. Something that we all have in common. And uh, along with depression, we're all fighting it with anxiety. But I'm talking about anxiety right now. And to me, the definition, there's multiple definitions. But if I could define it with one word, I'd probably say anxiety is uncertainty. Uncertainty. We have a hard time dealing with uncertainty because we want security. We want to know. And life just doesn't work like that. So I just wanted to help people with uh, some strategies and tactics that I have come up with and, you know, take that advice, make it better, leave it, you know, disagree with it. But what I, what I do to deal with uncertainty is I make multiple plans for my worst case scenarios. Make multiple plans for your worst case scenarios. So... If you're afraid you're gonna fail that test in school, you might get an F, you might not pass your class, and you're living with anxiety because it's uncertainty. Accept it, come to acceptance. Whatever you're fearing, come to acceptance of it, and then make multiple plans. So if you're gonna fail that test, if you're gonna fail that test, then you need to start making a plan for that to relieve your anxiety so you need to maybe make a plan to talk to your professor about extra credit maybe you need to get a tutor maybe you need to ask if you can take the test again come up with multiple plans so that if you do get that F if that worst case scenario does happen then you have a plan and so now you can sleep a little bit better uh, maybe another good example is uh, job security you know you're looking for a job it's hard to get a job out here what are you going to do you got to pay your bills you got to make a plan make a plan for your worst case scenario the worst case scenario is you're not going to get a job before the end of the month that's the worst case scenario now what's your plan for that do you need to sh set up a lemonade stand do you need to ask somebody that you've lent money to over and over again and you never asked them for money? Maybe it's time to ask them for money. Get your multiple plans together. I always have at least two plans. And you know what the trick is when I do this? My worry really never happens. Over 50% of the things that we worry about actually does not happen. It's the things that we don't see coming that happens to us. So I just wanted to give you guys some strategies. Hopefully someone takes the advice. Uh, I know mental health is a huge challenge. So this advice, you know, goes to myself as well. I'm in the same boat as you guys. Like I said, I just felt the need. I know people are going through this in these tough times. You got to be tougher than tough times. So everybody get your plan together. Get multiple plans together. It's time to be a mastermind. We're living in a very complicated world. Things are getting scarier. Things are getting crazier. So I just want everybody to not stress out and understand. Really, another thing that I live with is if you're a good person and you love God, then everything is working out for you for the better. Even if you're a good person and you haven't found God yet, but for those who found God, you know the scriptures are in there. If you love God, things are unfolding to your benefit. They are. As dark and as ugly as it may seem at the time. So get your multiple plans together. Relax. Master your mind. Master your emotions. So that you can maneuver through the manure. Right? Right? You're the captain of your ship. The storm is coming. The storm is coming, baby. All right, I kept this under five minutes. First time I ever did that. Peace out.